Broken Empire come to be? I mean, I think you started this one, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I did. It was my fault. Sorry. It was your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we apologise. Um, <laughs> the Joys of the Internet. An advert was put out um, looking for a guitarist, a vocalist, and a bassist. Um, and yeah, we went from there. I joined first. You did. You, <laughs> <were first. laughs> you have that on yeah. us all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the miracle of technology. Yeah, <laughs> join my band. Excellent resource, I thought. Very. Yeah. And very. Yeah. <coughs> and mix for me. Oh yeah. Let's join my band for me as well, because you you guys were like writing loads of decent music, and you were like, well, we need someone to actually voice it, and then I came in, and then I originally wasn't playing guitar at all. No, you weren't. When really. I joined, we didn't want another guitarist. No, but we felt like it kind of needed it, and I was a bit. Um, Unsure at first to whether I, should, I would actually be able to do it, but here we are. Uh, however many months late, eighteen more than eighteen, nearly two years later. Yeah, still here, still nah. jamming. <laughs> How did we come up with the name Broken Empire? This one what, isn't my what, fault. What was the story? <laughs> so wasn't it Horse <laughs> Empire to start with? Yes, we needed a we needed a name <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> We needed a name to put out on the adverts. And we've never let you choose a song name since. Yeah, and it was too Star Wars-y, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Then I came over and we were chatting through it for like four hours. And then we were talking about something broken. We said we needed something broken. And I can't remember if we came up with anything broken. But it was like... Oh, well, I'm brain. I'm not pretty sure we said we'd like the word empire, didn't we? Yeah. And we wanted to keep that, so, and, um, yeah, kind of. So basically, empire was mandatory. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. It was the best two words we came up with. <laughs> uh, so, I'm Yian Owen, I do lead vocals and rhythm guitar. I'm Matt Stevens, I play lead guitar and do a bit of backing vocals. Marco Arena and I play bass guitar. What's your real surname? <laughs> <laughs> Arena it is. We don't know. That's true. I'm uh, I'm Ricky Hill and I uh, I play the drums. Tough one, guys. Ooh, many um, in this list. Can I start? Alter Bridge the first. Yeah. Then you guys. Okay. Have a go. Definitely Alter Bridge. Yeah, I agree. We like Alter Bridge. Yeah. Uh, for me, definitely kill switch engage big time. I think we can all get on board with kill switch yeah. because they're just so. They were such an iconic metalcore band. I first saw them in Newbury playing at the Corn Exchange in two thousand and four. I think, man, that was a long time ago. Jesus, you yeah. old man. And you shut old up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Alter Bridge, kill switch, and a third one. Third. Mm. Um, uh, how about? We agree on... Venga Boys! Venga Boys. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Marco. <laughs> Why not? What about, like, Breaking Any Benjamin, Benjamin, Disturbed... Um, Bullet. 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 Metallica. Yeah. This is more than three. This is... Yeah. 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 This is yeah. more than three. Men uh, was written very much about um, the kind of the the struggles that you, you kind of go through in your in your own mind and almost seeing it like a battleground um, and realizing that um, I mean the the lyrics in the chorus is light is passing through everything we do and strength grows within hearts of damaged men so it's about it's very much a trying to inspire. Um, you know, even if things aren't going right, that you, you, you know, you have that strength within you to move forward. 
So the song writing process is quite unique, I think, for us as where we all contribute. None of the songs are singular to any of us. Um, I mean, it might be that other bands do the same, but we definitely go riff heavy. We build songs around a riff. We play around with the other riffs that surround it until it starts to sort of form into this kind of semi-being like like Flubber. And then it, over time, begins to solidify as we like all contribute little bits more to it. And uh, generally we'll put the vocals kind of nearish nearest the end of yeah, the Yeah, because for, for me when I'm writing vocals it's very much a, I, I can't, you know, you might have a chorus and you might, you know, you might have like a chord sequence as a chorus and you might sit there and be like, yeah, that's that's good. And then you write the rest of the song and it just doesn't fit. So for me, it's very much about the feel of the entire song and where I feel like I, it needs to go vocally and whether it needs to be like a heavier track or a yeah. lighter track or, I mean, so sometimes when we have an entire song put together, I can remember a specific one, um, and then it, after a while it just didn't work, so we completely tore it apart and redid it, and it's now one of our one of our favourite songs to play. Yeah. So um, it is very unique the way that we do things. I think that's impressive. Watch it burn. I like watch it burn. Watch it burn is watch my favourite song for me. Yeah. I'm gonna be the odd one out. I'm gonna say no more light. What he means is watch it burn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the most um, diverse song yeah. as a whole and it's um, for me it, vocally it's like I get to do more of the growly growls it's good fun to play as well yeah and even like the it's just a, it's a, one of our longer songs as well it's a very epic song yeah it goes through so many different levels it's not just kind of I mean, don't be wrong, like short and punchy songs are great, but sometimes it's nice to go on that journey. Oh, yeah. So, watch it burn for me, or for most of us, apart from someone. Sorry. <laughs>
Red Rocks. Red Rocks. Yeah, yeah. now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, we've got loads of good gigs coming up. Um, we've got Banbury, we've got Oxford, Oxford Northampton. Hampton. I mean, we're playing throughout the country. We're hoping to tour in 2020. We've got some new releases to bring out before then. So hopefully we'll bring out a tour in support of that next year. But, ride, ride the wave, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, but we've got a pretty sweet gig in Northampton coming up. Yeah, Road Mender, Sporting oh. Stormbringer. Yeah. Nearly sold out, I think it was what? Was ten, it at the time of recording, 10 yeah. tickets left. Who would we like to support us? Mm. If we were to headline. Um, Do we aim high? We aim high. We aim high. How high? Very. Very, very high. <laughs> I think the best lineup would be. Breaking Benjamin opening, followed by a big blasting set from Five Finger. Um, maybe a dual set between Slipknot and Disturbed, and then Alter Bridge, and then us. <laughs> That's aiming really high. That's nice. very, That's very, very high. high. Putting Five Finger second as but well. I agree with it, and no, I'm cool with it. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take I mean, that. they're all joint headliners except for us because we are the main headline. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that. I agree. I agree. I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> when <laughs> when Marco set, set fire to the fire to a base yes, amp, yeah, definitely. Um, fire another starter. one when uh, me and Yayan <laughs> we switch our cables. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? Do you not remember that? No, what was that? Oh, was it Bullinden? Bullinden, yeah. Bullinden, yeah. It, it depends. With, like, if I'm talking for the band, then probably our own recording studio. Yeah, if we're like talking for the band, the yeah, whole, recording studio, whole recording space suite, yeah. with a band jacuzzi. Burger King, McDonald's, <laughs> Burger King, McDonald's. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah, <laughs> kebab van. We eat so healthy; it's unreal. Jesse J. At the moment, I would say Charlie Puth. In general, Michael Jackson. I can get bored with Michael Jackson, to be fair. I used to love him when I was younger. I don't listen to pop music. Yeah, I, mean, do. I don't That's now. Terrible. You listen to Beyonce. I yes, love Beyonce. You do. <laughs> <laughs> We've, We've been, been Broken, Broken Empire. Empire. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. You could check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Broken Empire UK. You can check us out on Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music and all the other streaming channels. Check out our website, brokenempireband.co.uk. Cheers, guys.